The Atlanta Concert Band has prepared this audiovisual version of our concert program for your convenience. Today's concert, the British Folk Revival, will feature music from composers Percy Granger, Gustav Holst, Ralph Vaughan Williams. The music celebrates traditional English folk songs. The performance is at the Ahavath Okim Synagogue, located at 600 Peachtree Battle Avenue Northwest, in Atlanta, Georgia. This venue is ADA accessible, however, assistive listening devices are not available. Funding for this program is provided in part by the Fulton County Board of Commissioners. Donations are gratefully accepted. The Atlanta Concert Band has benefited from strong musical leadership throughout its history. Today's performance is conducted by Paul F. Scanning, music director and conductor. He is assisted by Walter Hickman, assistant conductor. Conductors or note are John P. Miller, conductor emeritus and James J. Sedlock, founding conductor. Our board of directors are Peter Berry, chair, John Arnold, treasurer and Sandra Cuddler, Secretary. Other board members include James Blackburn, Kristen Ciprari, Sonny Sudabach, Diane Knight, Peter Gleichman and James Wingate. A successful band has a team of volunteers that keep the music playing. In addition to our wonderful musicians, the individuals that contribute to the band's success are Peter Berry, team manager, Jane Snichinski, grant administrator, Kristen Ciprari, librarian, Paul Scanling, venue coordinator, Sonny Kudabog, personnel manager, James Blackburn, musical storyteller, Tracy Hetrick, hospitality coordinator and Richard Gideon, webmaster. You can contact the concert band through correspondence at Atlanta Concert Band. 1155 White Birch Way, Lawrenceville, Georgia, 30043 or, you can send an email to info at atlanticconcertband.org for more information, please visit our webpage at www.atlanticconcertband.org or, visit us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Atlanta Concert Band. The Atlanta Concert Band is in its 45th consecutive season and is composed of professional semi-professional and amateur musicians whose love for music brings them together to perform. The members are unpaid volunteers who commit to weekly rehearsals to prepare repertoire for concerts throughout Metro Atlanta and beyond. Originally formed in 1958, the Atlanta Concert Band performed until it dissolved in 1969. The band was reformed in 1973 and this year we celebrate our 45th anniversary from the date of reorganization. This year marks the 58th all-inclusive season of Atlanta Concert Band a Euro unregistered trademark S performances. Membership is always open to new members who are competent on a brass, woodwind or percussion instrument. New members are accepted on an ongoing basis, subject to instrumental balance. Please contact 678-377-7603 for additional information. The Atlanta Concert Band is an incorporated non-profit 501, C, 3, organization. Contributions are tax-deductible and greatly appreciated. Our music is accessible to all and our concerts are free. Our band members are unpaid volunteers, but we appreciate support for operating expenses for the band that include performance space rentals, equipment transport, instrument and equipment purchase and repairs sound and recording technicians, guest artists, marketing, publicity, and music purchase. If you would like to make a tax-deductible contribution you may donate using PayPal on our website www.atlanticconcertband.org or mail your contribution to The Atlanta Concert Band is an incorporated non-profit 501 C3 organization. Contributions are tax-deductible and greatly appreciated. Our music is accessible to all and our concerts are free. Our band members are unpaid volunteers, but we appreciate support for operating expenses for the band that include performance space rentals, equipment transport, instrument and equipment purchase and repairs, sound and recording technicians, 
guest artists, marketing, publicity, and music purchase. If you would like to make a tax-deductible contribution you may donate using PayPal on our website www.AtlanticConcertBand.org or mail your contribution to Atlanta Concert Band 1155 White Birchway Lawrenceville, Georgia 30043. You can also keep the music playing by signing up for Kroger Community Rewards. A link can be found on our website. Paul Scanley holds a Bachelor of Music Education degree from Florida State University and a Master of Music degree from Georgia State University. He studied flute and played tenor saxophone in college, and played baritone bugle in the Spirit of Atlanta and the Santa Clara Vanguard Drum and Bugle Corps. He has studied conducting with Dr. Patrick Dunnigan and Dr. Robert Ambrose and attended multiple conducting workshops. Paul Scanling has been the music director and principal conductor of the Atlanta Concert Band since January 2010. He is also the founding director and music director for the newly formed Marietta Symphony Orchestra. Born and raised in Columbus, Georgia, Paul is the son of two teachers, a lifelong musician, and a graduate of both Florida State University and Georgia State University. In addition to his work with the Atlanta Concert Band and the Marietta Symphony Orchestra, Paul is an adjunct instructor at Oglethorpe University and works with Chamber Cartel, a contemporary classical music ensemble in Atlanta. He lives in Marietta with his wife of almost 20 years, their two children Sarah and Alan, and Leo, the world's greatest chihuahua. Walter Hickman, assistant conductor of the Atlanta Concert Band and leader of the Big Peach Swing Band, earned a Bachelor of Music degree from the University of Tennessee and a Master of Music from Georgia State University. He moved to the Atlanta area in 1986 to accept the award of graduate assistant at Georgia State University. He served on the music staff at Rehoboth Baptist Church in Tucker, Georgia from 1988 to 2001 and currently is the staff trombonist at Dunwoody Baptist Church in Dunwoody, Georgia. He began studio teaching in 1990 and has performed often since age 16. He has enjoyed a variety of engagements, including hundreds of community, recording and traveling events, performing for such artists as The Temptations, The Four Tops, The Impressions, The Supremes, Barry Manilow, Aretha Franklin, Johnny Mathis, Bernadette Peters, Marvin Hamlish, Frank Sinatra, Jr., Dionne Warwick, Brian Wilson. The Moody Blues and others. He currently serves as the associate director of bands at Peachtree Charter Middle School in the DeKalb County School System. Mr. Hickman joined the Atlanta Concert Band in 2002 as principal trombone and became assistant conductor in 2004. The Big Peach Swing Band was organized by conductor John P. Miller and trumpeter Charles Sims in the fall of 1995. Members of the Atlanta Concert Band were invited to make up the horn sections and the rhythm section was recruited from outside. After only five rehearsals, the swing band performed for Atlanta Euro Unregistered Trademark S Popular New Year a Euro Unregistered Trademark S Eve Celebration, first night, on the main stage at Colony Square. The band has had many engagements since their debut including annual performances at the Inman Park Festival the Peachtree Heights Park Garden Party and the Stone Mountain Jazz Festival. The swing band is available for receptions, parties, dances, civic affairs and other events. For information on BPSB, please call Jack Miller at 770-431-1532. We would like to thank our supporters. They are Mount Vernon Presbyterian Church for providing rehearsal space for the Atlanta Concert Band. Fulton County Board of Commissioners and the Fulton County Art Council for providing funding for this and other programs. Atlanta Music Education Center and the Music Class for in-kind sponsorship of the Atlanta Concert Band. And the Atlanta Federation of Musicians who helps make this program possible. Now, on to our program. We have prepared a few notes of interest for you. An interest in folk music resurfaced in the late 20th century between 1890 and 1920. Composers Percy Granger, Gustav Holst, and Ralph Vaughan Williams contributed to the vast library of songs already available. Each composer may have had a different motivation for reviving songs rooted in tradition and history. 
but each gave patrons of classical music a satisfying variation. In the 1933 WEVD radio broadcast in New York, Percy Granger shared the following quote on the importance of reviving these songs from our past. He stated that, music will someday become a universal language. But, it will not be so, as long as our musical vision is limited to the output of four European countries between 1700 and 1900. The first step in the right direction is to view the music from all peoples and periods without prejudice of any kind, and to strive to put the world a Euro unregistered trademark as known and best music available into circulation. Only then shall we be justified in calling music a universal language. When we examine the concept of a universal language, we have to move beyond the traditional understanding and replace the word universal language with music for everyone, a method for capturing the lives and events of all people. For example, in The Lads of Wamfrey, Granger captured a ballad that told the story of a 16th century feud between two families near the Scottish border. The use of the word ballad in this reference is a story captured in song. These ballads were easily shared and passed down from generation to generation. Another composer interested in the folk songs of his past was Holst. Today we will perform Holst's composition Jupiter. This movement is one of a suite of seven referred to as the planets. Each movement conveys the ideas and emotions associated with the influence of the planets on the human psyche. The concept of the work was more astrological than astronomical. In his works, Holst would include musical quotes, or phrases found in traditional folk songs. The third composer contributing to the folk music revival is Ralph Vaughan Williams. In the English folk song suite, Williams created a three-movement work which includes the melodies from Seventeen Comes Sunday, My Bonnie Boy, and four songs from folk songs from Somerset. Williams' interest in the Tudor style of music provides a pleasant break from the traditional sound of the four European countries referenced in Granger's radio interview. The first part of our program will include Jupiter by Gustav Holst, Lads of Wamfrey by Percy Granger, Rosa Medra by Ralph Vaughan Williams, and Illyrian Dances by Guy Wolfenden. An FTER a brief intermission our second part of the program will begin. Our second part of the program will include English Folk Song Suite by Ralph Vaughan Williams, Colonial Song and Shepherd's Hay by Percy Granger, Shalom by Philip Spark, and the Colonel Bogey March by Kenneth Alford. Now on to our musicians. On flute and piccolo Nina Evans. Miriam Lavenda, Teresa Lemire, Reynolds McClatchy, Anne Rote, Paul Scher and Corinne Zare. On oboe Janice Lemire and Catherine Rotzer. Soprano clarinet Richard Gideon, Principal, Jason Blumenkrantz, Jane Karlstrom, Bob Cuneo, Kristen Soprari, Kippy Flanders, Zachary Hurd, Tracy Huttrick, Brittany Paris, Brian Schiff and Lee Wood. On E-flat clarinet. Robin Levine. On bass clarinet, Mark Lesser, Tim Zer and Javier Taban. And on contrabass clarinet, Elmore Stewart. Playing alto saxophone, Jenny DeLora, Lori Hunt and Justin Slaughter. And on tenor saxophone, Andrew Lenke on soprano saxophone, Jeff Jones. And our bassoonist is Christina Berry. On trumpet, Peter Berry, Principal, David Anderson, John Arnold, James Blackburn, Tony Buchan, Alan Holland, Kimber McNaughton and David Stoudemire. On French horn, Lisa Charlton, Chris Hoffman, Liz Elberger, Jessica Reeser, Don Rooney, Susan Swanson and James Wingate. On trombone, Walter Hickman, Principal. Joe Flanders, Larry Goro, Hugh Norris and John McCovett. On baritone, Evan Bogan and Mark Thomas. 
playing tuba. John Ibbard, Kyle Pearson and David Smith. And our percussionists are Peter Gleichman, Principal, George Roan Jr., Jason Blah, Butch Sievers. Thank you for viewing our audiovisual program. We encourage you to complete the survey in the back of the program or share your comments by sending your feedback to info at atlanticconcertband.org. We hope to see you at our next concert on May 6, 2018 at Atlantic Station.